Join our hosts as they explain how the latest charting systems from Strike Lines can greatly improve your fishing experience during this week's Marine Product Showcase. If you're unfamiliar with what a 3D bathymetric chart actually does, it's very similar to a topo chart on land, only this shows you 3D imagery on the bottom of the ocean. Travis, why don't you tell me what separates the Strike Lines material from what you're going to get out of just the preloaded stuff? For 3D charts, we bring in data from a bunch of different sources. Um, some of it comes from NOAA uh, hydrographic surveys. Some of it comes from uh, universities and research projects, and uh, you know Army Corps of Engineers, and um, some of it's even proprietary, like oil industry stuff. And so these 3D charts, we make them using data from multi-beam sonar systems. And multi-beam sonar is really cool. These are big, expensive units. Um, what they actually do is, is, as you're driving the boat forward through the water, they can paint a swath underneath you. They can see out to both sides, as well as right straight down under you. And you basically can, as you go, it draws a 3D map of the contours off to either side of the boat. You know, like with side scan sonar, you might be able to see if there's a rock or a dock or something out there to the left or the right, but you can't really see the elevation. But multi-beam takes that a step farther and draws the, the contours out as you go um, in real time. It's, it's really, really cool stuff. Okay, now Travis, who can use this part? I mean, how do we plug this into our machine and what are we compatible with? Okay, well, the quick answer is everybody can use it. So we've got several different formats we work in here. Um, if you have a Simrad, a Lowrance, Raymarine um, GPS in your boat, it'll load right onto it with a chip, you plug it in there, it's plug and play, easy, easy as cake. Our 3D charts are not compatible with Garmin systems. Um, so for those guys, we offer um, download versions where you can put it onto your phone, you can put it onto a tablet and attach it with a suction cup to the dash of the boat. The app that you use to view these charts, um, you can see the position of your boat, you can see your track lines, you can save waypoints on it, you can scroll around and do trip planning. Um, and a lot of guys like that because you can bring it home with you at night and um, plan your trips the next day, you know, see where you want to go, start marking it out, thinking about it, without having to be sitting on the boat in the yard with mosquitoes getting you, you know, it's kind of nice. So the best way to find out if we have coverage in your area is just to jump on our website and take a look. We've got an interactive map on there and all of our products. Uh, it's really easy to scroll through. We've got stuff all over the country, you know, the West Coast, East Coast, the islands. Now, Travis, a lot of people are intimidated by electronics. I mean, and a lot of people never even get to the point where they pull an SD card out of the unit. Yeah. And tell me how user-friendly this is for somebody that's a little bit scared off by technology. This makes it easier to work your bomb machine, your GPS, to be honest. Um, it's as simple as plugging a chip in there, a new background over, overlays, um, everything functions the same as before, but now you just have this detail of the bottom. It really does simplify the process, and um, I think that fishing with this in here is actually a lot easier than fishing without it. Okay, Lori, now you've seen the strike lines, bathymetric charts on my boat on the Simrad unit. I'm gonna show you a really cool thing to do with them that you can put to use while you're at home and take the information out onto the boat with you. Now, a lot of people have asked me, you know, what do you use that for? I understand that you can see the bottom really well, and you know, you can see here all that 3D stuff. I mean, it looks really cool, but in reality, how does that make my boating and fishing experience better? And I'm gonna tell you. Other than learning what the bottom looks like, there's other information on here that you can take to the next level. Now, you see there's a ledge right here, and it's very obvious. I mean, that's the kind of place where you would probably want to go reef fish. I mean, this is actually a spot right here where I go yellowtail fishing all the time. So I've entered the yellowtail waypoint in here, but what you can do with the strike lines chart is take this information all over the entire reef, and you see that little curve in the ledge right there? Mm -hmm. There's a place where there's a break in the ledge, and the current hits the ledge right there where it dog legs out and makes an upwelling, and that's a, probably a good reason why the fishing is so good right there. Well, if you follow the ledge up, you can see there's another place right here where it dog legs out to. You can see there's another ledge over here where there's a dog leg, and it's almost identical, the same type of terrain. So taking that information, I can use that to say, hey, why don't we put a waypoint right here and check this spot out and see if that's also a good place to snap or fish. And that's a way to accumulate a bunch of new numbers without having to go out and do the legwork of dropping an anchor, trying it. So I mean, really, it's just kind of like the speed reading version of trying to learn the bottom and expand your Loran book capabilities and your GPS numbers. I mean, you'll have many more spots to fish than you would have before. And also, you've got a bunch of different areas you can hit now. Rather than just going back to your one tried and true spot, you get to go back over and over again to, well, you can go hit five or six different spots and kind of hop around. And all that you can do while you're sitting on the couch with the tablet. Well, that's what's flooring me right now, the fact that we can see all this sitting here and not have to sit on the boat. Oh, absolutely. You do your homework, and then you just take it on the boat the next day. I'll let you do all the homework, George. Well, I thought you were going to ask to borrow this for the weekend. <laughs> well, I'm going to take a picture of your numbers. Oh, well, that's not going to happen. <laughs>